Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's a little louder today because I have a lot of noise going on. I have this fan blowing up at my NVMe because I'm not I'm plotting Mad Max over to my NVMe's but because I don't have enough RAM. That's actually doing a lot of things right now. It's my harvester plotting at maybe a little less than two hours because it is a very slow machine. My farmer is actually producing Mad Max plots in 45 minutes, also going to NVMe. Now this video today, I'm gonna go through on how to get Chia installed and then from there, I'm gonna start configuring my Mad Max for it as well and how to join a pool and how many pools we can join. Currently, there's no limit to how many pools you can join, but you cannot delete them after it takes your mojo from you. I do have a few pools set up on on this test machine that we're going to be visiting soon. On my primary farmer, I am part of two different pools right now. That is pool.garden and I have checked out space pool for some reason. Stay with me on this one guys. All right boys and girls, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up Chia and get yourself into a pool and start making some money. At least I think you will. The first thing you're going to do is download the Windows application from Chia.net because that's what we're working on today. Once you have that downloaded, you want to install it. And here I have it downloaded. 1.2 is the version with the current portable pools option and that's what we're going to be using to create pools and plots and start farming. Now while that's all happening, the next thing you want to do is go to this faucet page. Now this faucet page is going to be linked in the description below. Now this allows you to get mojos and you need mojos in order to join pools. Otherwise you can't get in. Now it's almost like an admission ticket. So you're going to go to all these different faucets and you can start accumulating all faucets as much as you want actually besides the official one. The official one goes by your IP address. Unless you want to fake your IP address and by installing a VPN, pretending you're a different IP, that's fine too. I believe you'll still be able to get more faucets but you can't not get a faucet until you have a wallet address so you have to actually wait until you're done installing but of course in this instance I already installed so we're gonna click on this key because I already have some mojos in there and you would need the current wallet address in order to get more mojos so what you want to do is go to your wallet one critical thing when you after you install the GUI is that you have to let it fully sync into the network meaning the whole network space and all that other good stuff will take some time if you're starting from the very very beginning if you're new to Chia so once that's done you have a wallet address here your receive address is under wallets you can copy that and I'll show you for example really quickly what happens if you already have gotten mojos from here it will tell you already sent which is cool because we already have a bunch of mojos here. You can see all this. I'm not rich, but it's enough pennies to get you into a current pool. Now, of course, there are other faucets that you can constantly put in and just get accumulate more mojos if you want to do that as well. That, that seems to be a fun thing to do for a lot of people. Now, the next thing we want to do is look for pools. Now, this is a unofficial Chia pool directory. Now, Space Pool is one of the bigger ones right now. It does have a lot of members on it. And of course, I have that web page up as well. That this is how much the network space that they have with the pools. And this is how many farmers they have online, which is a decent amount. Total winnings, you can see every couple of hours is they're, they're distributing XCHs. And now this is the addresses that they, they have in order for you to use, depending on your location, to enter and get into this pool. I also use pool.garden. I'm currently on pool.garden and these are the addresses. When you click on start here, it will get the address and you can enter that in as well. So let's go back to the GUI right now and you click on pools. Now I have already done all that by adding into the pools. Now with the GUI, just make sure that you enter into a pool. You cannot delete these pools anymore. You can change it, but you cannot delete them. So once your mojo is used up to join a pool, it's done. As of this version 1.2 in the GUI, there is no option to delete anything. If you choose to add another pool, now this is where it gets a little tricky because you're going to start creating plots, right? But when you create plots, you only have two options. One, to create solo for yourself. Two, you can only create it for a very specific pool, meaning you have to choose one or the other. You can't start creating plots and adding them to all the pools. Otherwise, you'd be double, triple, quadruple dipping. Let's just say for the argument's sake, I would want to connect to a pool and I go back and I say farmer.pool.garden. I'm actually interested to see what's going to go happen because I already have this pool already entered. It may tell me that it's a duplicate or it may even say that, okay, we'll add another one because we want to take your mojo. Ah, so it does allow me to add another pool. So you can see here it takes 
this outgoing is pending and that's what it's basically waiting for and if you go back to the pool I believe once that transaction completes you will be entered into the pool now what I did does not make any sense because I already joined farmer.pool.garden and now it's going to create a second instance so if I create plots I might as well just create for one of them not both of them so you can see here I have two farm.pool.gardens now remember I said earlier in the GUI currently of this version there is no ability to delete so if you were to create plots you're creating it for a specific pool you might as well just dump it into this, that one pool not spread it across because that just doesn't make any sense now we're going to go through Mad Max really quickly if you go to the Mad Max website to download of course I'm going to link this in the description below for the Windows environment and then you have your Mad Max directory so what is all this? Well, this is the plot to plot with a log and you get your system logs and you can actually, you know, figure out if anything is wrong with it. And of course, there's a readme file that helps you with the switches so you can understand it better. So I'm going to go through really quickly on this edit. So basically what I did was download the Mad Max directory, which is here in your downloads, right? I extracted it and I extracted it to my desktop. So once it's on my desktop, I open up the one with the log, the one that I want to use and, and run with. So here. I would enter in all my information. This is N1, how many plots you want to create. This is the amount of threads that it would use for this current plot and the 256 and the temp directory, the second temp directory. And it just tells you on the readme that you would need X amount of space for each directory. So here it says uh, temp two would need about 110 gigs of space. Temp one needs about 220 gigabit of space in order to plot. Correct. I have already entered all the, my information. Now, of course, this is just a test machine, so I do not have physical drives attached to this machine to do an actual plot, but I'm just using directories in the same drive to test, okay? This is just for demonstration only. And of course, this destination is going to a final directory. Now, the dash C is very important. Initially, you will see a dash P, which is the public pool key, but the dash C is actually, this is where you would get it. If you go back to your pool and you click on the little question mark next to the pool name, you get your contact address and you want to copy that. So basically what happens is if you use this dash C plus this contract address, it's going to create a plot that goes for this pool. Now, let's just say you wanted to do for space pool. You could do that. You take care come here get the contact address and paste that in and then you would paste that into this file right now I have it going to the pool.garden contact address and then my dash F here the farmer public you would go back to keys and then you check your I and this is the farmer public key that's what you would copy and paste into this location now I have left this all default so basically what you needed to change this is actually all default except for the temp directory. So you would add temp1 and the directory. Temp2-2 two two and the temp directory for that. And then the minus D is the destination directory of where you're copying the file to. And then the dash C, which is the contact address. And the dash F, which is the public, the former public key. So once that's done, let's minimize this for a quick second. Close it. I'm going to close the readme. So this file is already edited with my configuration. Okay, so once you have all that configured, now you're gonna just double click on it and it will start creating your plot in Mad Max for that pool. And of course, once that's completed, depending on your system configuration, how many RAM or NVMEs or hard drive space and CPU speed, once that's completed, that plot will get create it into the directory of where you defined it which is for me on this test machine will be in the C drive final directory and you will see the plot here and then when you go back to the GUI you would see that the pool will have a population of one plot for that particular pool because this is the one that I chose to plot for now you can always choose to change these plots for solo or other pools if you choose to so that's pretty much it. If there's any confusion, you can always reach out to me. My link for my Discord is in the description below. So reach out to me at any time. We can always have a full-blown discussion. Thank you guys and hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.